All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? You know me. It's Strife. Welcome to the Thursday night episode of Quarantine Week. Uh, life sucks. You're miserable. You're having to wear a day, kind of like I am. And you have nothing better to do with your life. As, like, I have nothing better to do with my life. So I'm here to provide just a little bit of entertainment and begin my legit playthrough of Final Fantasy VIII. This is a Final Fantasy I have played, so uh, there shouldn't be too much out of the ordinary in terms of, like, oh, I didn't know that, or, ooh, that's interesting. But, uh, we'll see what we can get up to, but... So we're going to start a legit playthrough of it today. And tomorrow will be Final Fantasy IX. So I did play some of this Tuesday for my mom on her birthday. But uh, I didn't bother saving anything. But So we're actually going to go for a legit playthrough. And we're going to keep this down to 40 minutes to an hour. One thing I can point out is that anybody longtime fan of this game, I still remember one of the biggest questions I know my mom got, and a couple other people I know who played this wanted to know what the hell was up with this uh, intro dialogue. So keep keep that very much in mind because it will come into play later on. This was such an amazing intro. Mm -hmm. So much like my rule with Final Fantasy VII, I am going to be renaming the two main characters. But as a little twist, I'm going to be renaming all Guardian Forces after friends from Final Fantasy XIV. How are you feeling? My forehead hurts. No kidding. 
Looks like your eyes are focusing. You should be fine. Say your name for me. For this playthrough, you shall be known as Richard, because you, sir, can be a dick. Why don't you take it easy in training? Next time, you might not be so lucky. Tell that to Cypher. That Cypher won't listen to anyone. Why don't you ignore him? You can't just run away. You want to be cool, huh? Well, don't get hurt in the process. Let's see, your instructor is... Quit, Keistus. I'll call her now. Just wait here a minute. Keistus, come get your student. Yes, yes. His injury's not serious. It'll probably leave a scar. Right, now please come by. Richard, so we meet again. I've got a bad, bad, bad. I'm hot for teacher. I knew it'd be either you or Cypher. Come on, let's go. Today's the field exam. Richard, is there something on your mind? Not really. <laughs> What's so funny? Funny? No, no. It's not that. I'm just happy. I feel like I'm beginning to understand my student a little. That's all. I'm more complex than you think. Then tell me. Tell me more about yourself. It's none of your business. Welcome to Balum Garden. Good morning, class. Let's start with today's schedule. There seem to have been some rumors flying around since yesterday. Yes, the field exam for seed candidates will begin later this afternoon. Those not participating and those who failed last week's written test are to remain here in study hall. Field exam participants will have free time until the exam. Just be sure you're in top condition. Meet in the hall at 1600 hours. I'll announce the team assignments there. Any questions? <coughs> oh, and Cypher? Do not injure your partner while training. Be careful from now on. Field exam participants, I will see you all later. And Richard, I need to talk to you. Let's go ahead and get our first two GFs and figure out what names I'm going to call them. Who are they going to be of all the friends I have in Final, in Final Fantasy XIV? Hmm. Interesting. Who should I name? Who should I name? Who should I name? Thunderbird, huh? Um...
You haven't been to the fire cavern yet, have you? You won't be able to take part in today's seed exam if you don't pass the prerequisite. I was gonna go this morning, but Cypher... Mm hmm, do you have a good excuse? <laughs> Not really. Then let's get going. <coughs> if you're not too confident, you can review your studies at the study panel. I'll be waiting at the front gate, so come down when you're ready. You can access the study panel from your seat. I'm so jealous. Maybe I should take up that subject, too. Should anything happen to Instructor Trapeze, the trapeze will get you back. Alone with Instructor Trapeze. <laughs> yeah, she's got her own fan club. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late! I was kind of in a hurry. Oh yeah, hey, did you just come from that class? Is homeroom over there? Whoa, oh, no! This place is so much bigger than my last garden. Oh, hey, hey! I just transferred here. Do you think you could give me a quick tour of this garden? Yeah, sure. Woohoo! Alright, let's go! We'll take the elevator to the first floor lobby and I'll show you the directory. To have these, but I gave these as cards. They're not really my thing. You can have them if you'd like. And thus, triple triad. That's the directory. This is it. Bellum Garden is pretty big. It's a good idea to check where you want to go and then select it here. I have a question. How do you use this? Move the cursor and press X to select. Next, I'll give a quick explanation of the various facilities. Yes, sir! You'll find the dormitory to the north. The majority of the students live in the dorms. There aren't too many students who commute. Yeah, I'm in the dorms too. You can rest and change in there. West of the North Block is the cafeteria. There's always a big rush for the hot dogs. You better get used to waiting in line. Got it. East of the North Block is the parking lot. We usually take the garden car when a mission comes up. The front gate is located to the south. That's right, I had to meet, go meet Instructor Chippy at the front gate. Hmm, what's the matter? Nothing. Next, we have the quad, located in the West Block. There's an event being planned there. I know, I know, it's the Garden Festival. It's going to be great. I'm planning to be on the committee. You want to help out too? Let's just continue. South of the West Block is the infirmary. This is where you get treated for your injuries, but a lot of students just come here for advice. What's the doctor's name? Dr. Katawaki. <laughs> now the East Block. 
This is the training center. It's the only facility open at night. It's used for training and they have real monsters running loose here. If you don't take it seriously, you may end up dead. Just be careful. <laughs> okay. South of the east block is the library. There's a lot of material you can look up here, but the terminals and the classrooms are a lot more efficient. And you already know about the classroom on the second floor, right? Yep, I remember that one. By the way, the headmaster's office is located on the third floor. You need permission to get in. Another question. What's the headmaster's name? Headmaster Sid. That's about it. Anything else? Got it. Hmm, hey, um, are you taking today's seed exam? Yeah. Then maybe I'll see you again. Later. I've already finished my training at my previous garden. I'm taking the seed exam today, too. Good luck to both of us, huh? Thanks a lot. Play some triple try. Watch me get my ass kicked with these basic ass cards. I got a trophy for playing cards. So this down here would be the infirmary. And we've got the quad. Cafeteria. Cypher. Drink. Can I drink something? I'd like some water, you know. Ignore. <sighs> Yo, it's Richard. Oh yeah, Fujin's gonna treat, you know. Want something? Rage. Ow! <laughs> Richard, can't you see the disciplinary committee's, committee's busy? Don't bother us. No more hot dogs today. Here we've got, there's the dorms, there's the parking garage, training facility, I've wanted to be seed since I was little, it makes sense that I want to help out, I'm going to work hard to be a seed, I'm going to work really hard, and the library. I'm just looking around. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so let's go ahead and take care of this. I'm gonna do that. Eh, nah.
So usually the one thing you want to do is definitely, if they have a boost, go ahead and learn that first. Because this was one of the first Final Fantasies I remember where you could, um... I wish they had super exciting books here, kind of like the one that the girl with the pigtail recommended. That romance novel was pretty good. Um, this was one of the first ones I knew that you could find a way to boost your guardian forces. So that's pretty much the, the look around. Let's go ahead and play another round. I have crap cards. And if you lose, they take a card. So this one was legitimately a pain in the ass, because if you didn't have enough cards to play, you didn't get the triple triad. There is a trophy in the HD remaster of making sure you've gotten every card, or at the very least, beating all the CC members and stuff, so... start playing triple try until I've got a few good cards, which eh, it's hard to explain, but there, there's a few good cards you can get before you really should even focus on triple try it. Alright, let's get her going here. Huh, I have a few things to explain before we head off. GFs give us strength. The stronger the GF, the stronger we become. So here's a brief explanation on junctioning a GF. Junction Tutorial Junction enables characters to power up and use abilities. This means a GF must be junctioned in order to power up and use abilities. Let's begin by junctioning a GF. Right now, no GF is junctioned. All other commands in gray cannot be selected yet. Once Junction is selected, the GF and Magic commands appear. Since no GF is Junction, Magic is, dis is displayed in gray. Let's Junction a GF. By selecting GF, a GF list appears. Press square to see abilities possessed by a GF. The abilities are HP Junction, Vitality Junction, etc. Let's choose a GF. When GF read is selected, 
its abilities, HPJ and ViteJ, make the stats HP and Vite appear in white. Magic can now be junctioned to HP and Vitality. But, since there's currently no magic, we will move on to setting abilities. There are three command abilities, and two non-command abilities for characters and party. A total of five abilities can be set. Depending on the GS abilities, the maximum is four non-command abilities. This means that up to seven abilities can be set. Let's get some. Let's set some abilities. First, select the slot. The top window is for command abilities used during battle. No, this is not my first playthrough, but I do know somebody who's going to go back and watch this and ask me to include the tutorials. And hello, Ultima Weapon. The bottom window is for character and party abilities. Selecting the top window displays command abilities. And selecting the bottom window displays characters and party's abilities. Since there is currently no magic, let's set the command ability draw to get some magic. When an empty slot is chosen, the cursor moves to the right. Select draw command uh, select draw to set the command draw. <laughs> I really did like this Final Fantasy, so I'm, I'm glad you uh, I put something out there that caught your interest. This is how command abilities are used during battle are set. Let's add GF and item to the list of command abilities. Now GF and item are set. Let's set a non-command ability. By moving the cursor down, a character ability is displayed. Now, to set magic plus 20%, select an empty slot. And select magic plus 20%. Magic plus 20% is now set. Abilities have now been set. This concludes the tutorial. Thank you and good luck. Everything okay up till now? You can always check back by accessing tutorial from the menu. Once we get to the firing cavern, I'll explain how to junction magic. Use the command draw during battles and stock magic from your enemies. Be sure to have some stocked. Ready to go? The fire cavern in use for tests is located east of here. Alright, so let's go ahead and get her set up with something, because it's going to be helpful to give her some magic. And I very rarely use items, so... Okay, so for a legit playthrough here, I'm going to focus on trying to get the four primary spells, so... I'm all over the place with the games I play. I'll play RPGs, shooters, action games. I've streamed Resident Evil, Final Fantasy XIV, stuff along that line. And I'm always open to suggestions as long as it's something I can get on my PS4. Yeah, so, I'm gonna use the speed command to make this go a little faster. <laughs> Ultima Weapon A, thank you for the follow. Crap, I did the wrong thing! Uh, technically, I didn't do the wrong thing. I always kill one of these just to make my life a little easier. So, I'm very anal OCD with my draws, so... If I'm going to draw something, I'm going for as close to 100 as I can get, so it's got the best effect for the stack, so. I've already got mine pre-ordered, I'm just hoping that it doesn't get delayed, and I'm planning on streaming that as well. I've got, I've got games coming up here soon, um, I'm streaming Persona 5 Royal next Tuesday. And I've also got Resident Evil 3 Remake and Final Fantasy 7 Remake that I'm going to be streaming. And I'm going to be streaming all three of those games. Okay, so... 
Just in this way, it's not question mark anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and draw the scans. I don't necessarily think it's necessary to have a hundred scans, but. Interested, I just started streaming the original Final Fantasy 7 last night. I'm going to be doing that every Wednesday around this time. Thursday is going to be uh, Final Fantasy 8 tomorrow night around this time. I'm going to be doing Final Fantasy 9. I'm thinking I'm going to experiment and actually try and do Final Fantasy Type O. Since I've never played that one, just to check it out on Saturday and Final Fantasy 15 on Sunday. And I've never played 15, so I really need to get there. Oh yeah, Final Fantasy 9 gets so much hate, and it's actually a really decent game. It's it's not my all-time favorite Final Fantasy, but it is so damn good. I've, I've heard mixed opinions about Final Fantasy Typo, so I'm curious to see when I actually get my hands on it what I'll think of it. Okay, so we got just... No, we got two. So these guys should have Blizzard. Ooh, they got a couple different skills, so... Alright, so let's go ahead and get rid of one. Fifteen was an amazing game in the series compared to everything between it and ten. I wanted to do Final Fantasy XIII in place of Type O, but I'm not 100% sure I can get my Xbox to cooperate with me. And this is my first time playing the uh, HD edition of Final Fantasy VIII, so I'm really curious how good the graphics are going to be. Dude, you seriously need to die. <laughs> Nothing to call home about. For some people, it's very different. I know somebody whose first Final Fantasy was 13, and to her, she thinks it's so amazing. I managed to get my hands on this for like 10 bucks on PlayStation Network, and considering how much I actually really enjoyed the game, I am so glad I spent that 10 bucks. So, I have played Final Fantasy VIII before, so I'm kind of doing this episodically in terms of I'm planning the streams out of what's going to be covered in each stream. So today I'm just covering up through the Fire Cavern. Next week I think I'm going to cover the Seed Exam. So, small, manageable streams that people can go back and watch easy. Because uh, unfortunately I do have a PC when I'm really into something to go anywhere between 2 and 10 hours at a time. Like I've been known to do with Persona. I started that with Dolby planning to do 2 hour bids and then pretty much every single stream after that was anywhere between 6 and 8 hours. Also, if anybody is interested, I'll get the information on my Twitch page here soon. I do have a Discord channel where I will invite people to come in and talk with me, and I do have a nice little edition there where you can request music to be played in the background. And if I know it, I'll even sing along to it, since some people say they like hearing these things, so... Wizards. 83. Sleeps. Figure 
this. Yeah, so you can be helpful depending on who you use it for. And I like these status effects if I want to get that. Good for status junction, yeah. But it's one of the good ones to go for on early. We are going to be getting Sire in here very, very like, by game timeline. We get Sire very quickly, and she's one of the first ones to come with the uh, status junction. I'm going to go ahead and get something to go on here for that. I mean, if I really wanted to kind of cheat the system, I didn't have to be back here. No, no. I guess you can judge on a lot of status attacks, Jay, yeah, you can farm and just... Yeah. Yeah, the more you have in the spell, the better it's effect. When it comes to status inducing spells, the better, the more the magic you have. You pretty much, I mean, unless they are completely resistant to it, you, that, you pretty much have a 100% chance of inflicting the status. Yeah, and just like So, what Final Fantasy game, have you played any other Final Fantasy games? You said that, obviously you're a fan of 8, I'm assuming you're definitely a fan of 7 since you're uh, getting a remake, and you just finished 9, what, what other Final Fantasies have you played? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 15. Six is probably my hands down favorite. There was just so much to love about that game. Um, have you tried playing Final Fantasy XIV online at all? Just, just out of sheer curiosity. Is it not really your thing, or have you had an interest in trying it? Yeah, 6 is so good. Uh, I'm telling you, we will not be disappointed with that game. Alright, let's go ahead and fire off our first limit break. Squall has a face, and he looks like a pretty boy, which is not something I'm used to for his reputation. <laughs> Look at that face, man! Look at that face! Just so I can actually get over there. The last few things we want to go for is the Thunder and Cure spell. Yeah, he's such an emo fucker. I actually do kind of like his character, but he's so emo and he's got this like pretty boy face. I, I, my brain, no, my brain doesn't function with that. Okay. Let's go ahead and get these stocks. If you got the chance to go for the most basic elemental spells for your boosts, go for it. He could be so much more badass and confident for the storyline. You know, I I will give you that. I completely agree. For what it is, you know, dude, you fucking wield a fucking gun boy. You should have a more badass attitude. But, at the same time, I do give him a slide out if you look at all the characters. They're all like teenagers. They lack life experience, and they're like hormonal and... and dumb. So... Yeah, he's supposed to be, with like no real experience and no real... Like, He's being told to act like an adult, and he's 17. 
I don't remember if the game actually clearly defines why he chose to go to a, a military school. A military combat school. I don't know if it... So it's so weird. I give him a slight out. That's the only reason I give him a slight out is because of the fact that he does get some good character development. For a young character. So it is interesting to see how that goes. I remember the first time I played this, though. I remember thinking it's just like, dude, you've got an older woman interested in you. I find out she's only 18. It's just like, that's what an 18 year old looks like. some cures going on so we have some heals because in any of my playthroughs I am notorious for never having the item command on. I think the only time I've ever actually used the item command in a playthrough of Final Fantasy VIII is when I'm fighting Omega. Which I'm actually going to attempt to do on this one as well. one more because I want the item that gives uh, keys to her limit, a new limit break, so. Okay. And I really gotta adjust my settings. My, my freaking in-game settings. This is just driving me too freaking nuts. I feel like those cheese would be fun to I have made the rule for myself in this regard that... Damn it, and I got screwed out of that again. I'm only using these cheats for draw aspects just to speed up that process. That's the only reason I'm using them. Outside of... Oh, shit. Goodbye! <laughs> <coughs> so no! So much no going on right there! Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh. That's that's a game that's looking game over right in the face. I would have been willing to give it a try had I, um, had I saved. Because on the off chance that the sleep doesn't work, I don't need to be getting wiped out. 
because, I mean, I haven't, I wouldn't have lost much, but that's a lot of lost game time that I can't go back and skip. Oh, now you just pissed him off. Dude. And goodbye. Alright. Yeah, I'm doing what I'm calling my quarantine week special. I'm doing a, a little bit of a different Final Fantasy game every night this week. There's the spider web. Tomorrow night I'm doing Final Fantasy 9. Saturday I'm doing. I'm either going to be doing 13 or Typo, and then Sunday night I'm going to be doing my first blind playthrough of Final Fantasy 15. So other than waiting for Max Payne, how are you doing tonight, Zero? Yeah, and I keep forgetting to adjust the settings. So, it's going to be a short one, so... Don't worry too much about it, but I do appreciate you stopping in and saying something. I'm doing alright. Uh, I had just had a really weird day at work today. <laughs> and there's Rain. What up, Rain? <laughs> uh, I had a really weird day at work, so I just could not wait to kind of like just forget about work and jump into this, so... Okay, so... Alright, so... Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, so we are going to save. I'm <laughs> glad I'm off for today. Alright, so we will save here, just so this way I don't screw this up. Seems a little chalky. Okay, Junction and Magic. Now pay attention. I'll be explaining how to utilize the magic you have stocked. Junctioning magic. By junctioning magic, you can raise the character stats. If the GF has learned the ability to junction onto stats, that particular stat will be displayed in white. By selecting junction here, the GF and magic commands will appear. You are able to junction magic by selecting magic. When magic is selected, a list of magic appears. Use the cursor to select which, magic, which stat to junction. When strength is selected, choose a magic with the cursor. You can see how the stat value changes with each magic. When a magic is selected, the magic will display next to the stat and the value will change. Only one magic can be assigned to each stat. However, there is no need to junction magic manually one by one. Select auto after junctioning. Oh, dude. Thank you for the pity, Zero. You didn't have to do that, but thank you so much. <laughs> Dude, you guys are like my first real official bits. <laughs> oh, dude, like, my, my mind is blown right now. <laughs> there are three commands to choose from. Attack favors strength, magic favors magic, and defense to favors, ra favors uh, raising HP. Dude, I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much, Zero. You didn't, I know you didn't have to, but I'm, I'm never going to stop thanking you for that one. Thank you. Thus, magic can be junctioned easily by using auto. For example, let's select the attack junction. Magic has been junctioned to favor strength. This concludes the magic junction tutorial. <laughs> and Darian yells at me for it. <laughs> oh, you know how to use your gun blade. Yeah, I already know. Installing, yay! I have I've played the first two Max Paynes. I own Max Payne 3, but I haven't played it yet. Um, okay, so just because I can, um, I'm gonna remove that. I am like super OCD with this stuff right now. Um, Thank <laughs> you. 
but I like I do in feathers. But you go crazy in Darren, like I do in Feather Stream. That's my wish to meet Feather. I would love to meet Feather and Darian if I could, but you know, my life will be com once that happens, my life will be complete. <laughs> uh, Zero, I love you, man. I love you. Let let's let's dream together. Yep, I fully plan on it. Because of what the thing entails. Okay, so 19 seems to be the best for magic. So that'll give her magic a boost. And then... Spirit, which goes towards more towards defense. 21. Alright, so yeah, we'll do that. And we'll go ahead and pop them both a potion. Alright, let's do this! I'll sub when you get one emote. Sorry, I like the emotes. I don't know how to do the emotes. I'm, there are so many things about this that I'm not familiar with. Objective, to obtain a low-level GF, a seed member must support. Are you ready? Yes. I'm ready. I'm his support. Instructor number 14, Keista Streppy. Select the time limit. Choose one suited to your abilities. Challenging yet reasonable. Ten minutes. Very well. Good luck. I'm gonna have to pay her for that one, but I will... If she could help create me some emotes, I would freaking love that. My job is to support you in battle. Everything else is up to you. Fine. You know the boys often choke on this test when I come with them. I guess my charm makes them nervous. Whatever. I'm just kidding. Trying to keep you relaxed, that's all. You're wasting my time, that's what you're doing! <coughs> Alright, so no speed up, no cheats, no nothing. I'm trying to do this in ten minutes. Bye bye. It's been like three hours, and this game is still not downloadable. It's still not downloaded. That's harsh, man. <laughs> it's really harsh. Especially when it's a game that you really want to play. That's a fire draw point. I've already got a crap ton of fire. I guess I was right. You and Cypher are in a class of ruin. You both have amazing strength and potential. Crap. A bomb, an elemental monster. Use an ice attack for these. Check the monster's weakness with scan. First real dungeon of the game! Roasted! Well, not roasted, frozen! <laughs> huh. Okay, this is it. Are you ready? You seem confident enough. Let's do this. I know what I'm gonna call him. The 
more you press square, the stronger it is. What is this nonsense? It's the boost function. You can actually boost the power of your summons. I'm a Pokemon! They have several? I did not mean to draw those. Might as well. Here we go. What's your HP at, dude? Because I kind of want to draw you out if I can. 709. Fire magic uses. Uh, fire GF uses fire magic. It's a strong opponent, but as it is part of the guard's exam, not impossible to defeat. Never gonna get old for me. <laughs> oh, damn it, I lost the boost. No. Okay, so I do know that for this is part of his CD, his seed exam. So you need to have this fight finished between zero and seven seconds. I've got time to kill, so now I feel really bad. Oh god, uh, 10 points if you know where that's from. God damn it. I've delivered you an ultimatum. Submit or die. Honestly, it's from a game, of course. 
But see, the problem is, is, is it a game I've played? There's, there's the rub. Yes, I just whipped him in the shape. Don't judge me. See, I know the trick about the limit breaks in this game, though. Honestly, Zero, I don't know. I, I cannot think of it off the top of my head, my friend. Oh, no, not what I wanted to do! See, I've never played Ninja Gaiden! I've never played the Ninja... Uh, not from way of, like... God, I played those back, uh, I think the first one on, like, Nintendo. But that's it. to a human. Very well. I will join you. G return Ifrit's card. I must go get more whiskey. So, what I'm for if you've played FF8 before Zero, what I'm doing is I'm naming all the GFs after friends I've made in Final Fantasy 14. I've got this one figured out. Hello, Azale. <laughs> okay, there isn't much time, but let me go over this real quick. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Good, you got yourself a GF. If you jumps in the GF, you'll be able to use the Elemental J ability. Here's an explanation on elements. Junction can change basic parameters such as strength and magic as well as elemental parameters by junctioning a GF with elemental junction ability. As magic is junctioned, the EL slash A slash D or dash slot above HP turns white, indicating an elemental junction. When left is pressed, the elemental junction screen appears. Elemental Junction works like other junctions. First select the stat to junction. Then choose a magic to finish the junction. However, non-elemental magic like Cure cannot be junctioned. Elemental Junction affects attack and defense differently. Junctioning to elemental attack links that element to a character's attack. The percentage indicates how much of the attack's damage is linked to that element. At the maximum value of 100%, the attack becomes entirely elemental. In the example, ice is at 50%. This means that damage only increases by 50%. When junctioned to elemental defense, the damage from that element is reduced. Reduction of the damage is shown in percentage. At 100%, damage is reduced to zero. In the example, fire damage is reduced to 20% because the elemental defense is at 80%. A green star is displayed when the value goes over 100%, indicating that the damage is absorbed. In this state, you can absorb the amount of damage indicated in the percentage. In the example, 50% of fire damage is absorbed. Multiple magic types can be junctioned to elemental defense depending on the GF's ability. Junctioning multiple magic types with the same element for a culminative effect. Try junctioning different magic to check the effect. You can also select auto to automatically junction the most effective elemental magic. This concludes the elemental junction tutorial. There's a lot of fire elemental monsters here, so junction blizzard to your elemental attack you'll have an easier time with fire elemental enemies. Alright, so let's go ahead and give him a Zale. Alright, 
percent and a fifty percent damage boost. And we're gonna go ahead and teach Zell how to boost. And summon magic. That's almost complete. So once it learns that one, I'll move it. All right. So. So now let's see how these uh, these fights work out. Oh, triple digits. <coughs> and I got a red back card. Woohoo! So basically, just to conclude this episode, we're gonna move, we're gonna get back over to the garden and get to the point of going to the seed exam, but we're gonna save and stop there. Next Thursday is going to be the seed exam as a whole. Tomorrow night, we're starting Final Fantasy IX now, so. Oh, I think I pissed it off. <laughs> Up. He's so pretty, it's not right. <laughs> this is also one of the first Final Fantasies I could think of where the characters didn't merge into anybody. It was nice but weird because they copied you step for step. Ah, a fuel. Do you have anything worth drawing that I don't already have? Nope. Bye bye. Okay. So, one thing I want to get out of the way for them, because it will come in handy later, is Thunder Magic Refine, Thunder and Wind Magic, and Ice Magic Refine from an item. Okay, so as long as, as, long as it was between 0 and 7, I should get max point for that. Somebody's got a death wish. The one interesting thing that I found with these is because of the level up system with them. It was interesting to find out that you could go back and farm these same enemies later on when they leveled up because they'd have new skills. They'd have new spells to draw. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and remove that. Well done. Let's see. I thought there was something else I needed to go over with you before you take the seed exam. Oh yes, taking care of your GF. This is something you have to watch out for. GF tutorial. A GF will level up as it gains experience and learn new abilities by gaining AP points. From EXP and AP, EXP gained from battles automatically levels up to GF. While AP gained during battle, can be distributed to learn different abilities. Decide how to distribute the points. Let's go over how a GF can learn different abilities. <laughs> Select GF from the menu to display the GF acquired. When Sybil is selected, Sybil's stats are shown. 
This displays its EXP, level, and compatibility between characters, etc. But, by selecting Learn, Sybil's ability list is displayed. Abilities in Y, such as Strength J, are abilities already learned, while abilities in Gray have not been learned yet. The first number in Gray shows the AP gained towards learning, and the second number shows the AP required to complete. Light J shows that 50 AP are required, of which 0 AP have been gained. In order to learn the ability Elemental Attack J, move the cursor to Elemental Attack J, and confirm. Elemental Attack J will then be displayed to the left under Learning. From here on, all AP gained will be used for the Elemental Attack J. When all 160 AP are gained, Elemental Attack J is learned. Once an ability is learned, AP will automatically move to an ability not yet learned. With each learned ability comes a different set of abilities to learn. The order of learning affects the GS powers. Therefore, it is recommended to return to the screen to set the next ability. This concludes the tutorial. Thank you and good luck. Now, change into your uniform and assemble at the first floor lobby. This is like, in my head, the music that I imagine. Like, playing in like, every anime with a school. I like, mentally replace the music with the steam. Here's back. I wonder if I can actually pull it off. It's <laughs> so like my like my first real anime that I, I I classified as an anime. You know, everyone's got their opinion. My, my first real anime was Sailor Moon, so since that took place with schoolgirls in the school, this music played in my head a lot. <laughs> Just because it seemed fitting. <clears throat> so let's see, I can draw from the cure. Can, uh, can I draw from this one yet? Nope. They usually recharge after a while. seeing him with a face. It used to be just like a splotchy mess on the freaking PS1. Save point. Alright, so that's going to do it for this one. Um, I'm going to try and do this for an hour Wednesday through on nights that I work. Um... Ultima, since you are new, I do longer streams of games on Mondays and Tuesdays. Uh, this Monday I'm covering my first playthrough of Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition. I've played the original Devil May Cry 4, but this one's actually covering the new content that they put in with the Special Edition. 
and Tuesday, provided it's not late with all that coronavirus stuff, um, will be uh, the debut of Persona 5 Royal. So if you're interested in checking those out, feel free. I will be back tomorrow night with Final Fantasy IX. So until then, I hope. Thank you guys. Uh, thank you Zero for the donation. Thank you Ultima for the follow. Thank you guys for sticking around and hanging out and just chatting with me and having a few laughs. So until then. Have a good day, morning, evening, night, afternoon, masturbation session. I don't know what you got going on for you right now, but whatever it is, I hope you're having a good one. And if you got to remember my golden rule. Strife Eclipse tells you to always remember. If you're gaming right now, and I know you probably are, you got to remember to game hard or go home. Not like you go anywhere because with isolation and quarantine and stuff right now, where else are you going to go? But still, that's beside the point. Remember to game hard or go home, and I will see you guys tomorrow night with Final Fantasy IX. Talk to you guys later. Peace.